Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at who invented eggnog. Have you ever wondered who invented eggnog and what it traditionally was made with? Well, one to know more. To begin with, yes, eggnog traditionally included raw eggs. However, some countries today, such as the United States, severely restrict the use of raw egg in products due to health concerns. Thus, most commercial eggnog does not include raw eggs. The FDA actually limits the egg yolk solids in eggnog to less than 1%. You can, however, buy pasteurized eggs first before making making your own eggnog or partially cook the raw egg in milk to make a custard, but eggnog connoisseurs tend to frown upon this as it supposedly alters the flavor and consistency of the final product. As to what else the traditional ingredients included, these are milk, cream, sugar, some sort of alcohol like rum, brandy, vodka, cognac, or whiskey, whipped eggs, and sometimes nutmeg, cinnamon, or other spices. While today, eggnog you buy in the store often excludes the alcoholic ingredient, traditionally this was always included and was half the point of eggnog. This brings us to where eggnog actually came from. I mean, who actually sought there and thought to themselves, hmm, you know what would be a good idea? Mixing raw excretions from a cow's udder and a chicken's cloaca with some sugar, alcohol, and spices. It isn't exactly known who was the first person to do this, but eggnog seems to have originated in Europe around the 17th century, very possibly in England. It was generally only drunk by the extremely wealthy due to the need for eggs and milk, which were a rarity for commoners in Europe at the time. Before eggnog, it was fairly common to mix milk with wine and other alcohol to make various forms of milk punches, including possibly the direct ancestor of eggnog, posset, which was a drink served hot that included milk and eggs mixed with wine or beer. Sometime around the 18th century, eggnog made its way to the Americas, where its popularity was much more widespread due to more people having direct access to cows and chickens, more commoners owned farms. As brandy, the alcoholic ingredient of choice in England, was somewhat expensive to get in the Americas from heavy taxing and lack of availability, the much cheaper and readily available rum became a popular substitute there. This later changed to whiskey and bourbon. George Washington himself had his own little recipe for eggnog, which included not just rum, but sherry and whiskey too. As to the name of eggnog, the origins are somewhat disputed, but obviously the first part comes from the egg ingredient. The origin of the second nog part is slightly murkier. It's possible that it derives from the Middle English word noggin, which originally referred to a small wooden mug and later any small container used to serve strong alcoholic beverages. Noggin may or may not be derived from nog, referring to certain types of beer brewed in East Anglia in the 17th century that had a high percentage of alcoholic content compared to most beers. A much less plausible theory often put forward as to the origin of the name eggnog is that it comes from the Americas and was from egg and grog, referring to the rum ingredient in the Americas and this being morphed to eggnog. Whatever the case, the word eggnog started popping up around the very early 19th century on both sides of the pond, though the British still sometimes called it egg flip, referring to the process of mixing the ingredients. So I really hope you enjoyed that video about the origin of eggnog. If you did like it, please do give us a like below. It really helps out. And do consider sharing this with a friend. If you click the share tab below, you'll see loads of other options for sharing this on social media. We'd really appreciate it. And if you did like this video, you're sure to like our other stuff. So do be sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.